uh, to be honest, the economic consequences are huge. Um, our estimates, based on just a study of the forest biomes, is that we're losing natural capital at the rate of between two and five trillion dollars per annum. And if you want to equate that in GDP terms, well, over the horizon of our study, that's 2050, we would be losing something like 7% of GDP. And to put things in perspective, current uh, capital losses, financial capital losses, are to the tune of one and a half trillion. And clearly, we are concerned about that. But when we lose two to five trillion in natural capital, it passes below the radar screen because these are public goods and services. They don't belong to anyone. They belong to everyone. You can break any problem down into its component parts. So let's look at what is actually happening. We are losing forests. We are increasing the vulnerability of the poor. We are reducing our supply of fresh water. We are increasing the risk of further emissions due to the loss of forests. We are risking our medicinal storehouse in nature because of the lack of species. We are reducing our ability to fertilize and to grow food because bees are dying and crop species are reducing and so on. So each of these is a component, a separate component of the problem. And I think it is possible to take each of these components but to try and understand it within the whole.